Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to take a screenshot in game and in this it's going to take the screenshot and also play a sound effect and have a nice little kind of animation on the screen as well. But if you don't want those other parts you don't have to have them, you can just do the screenshot itself. So without further ado, let me hit play, get in, show you what this is going to look like. So for me the button I'm going to press is F12, but you can set this to whatever you like. So if I were to press F12, you can see we got a sound effect, a little flash on screen, and it also took the screenshot as well. And then I can open that up, so I'll also show you where it saved it later on. And if we open it up, you can see we have this nice screenshot here. So this works perfectly, it takes a high resolution screenshot of your game when playing. So this is what we're going to make today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is obviously import your sound effect. So I'm using this one which I got for freesound.org, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. And this is what it sounds like. Obviously, use whichever one you want, or don't use any at all. And once you've got that, we're going to create the animation for having the flash on screen. And again, you don't need to do that if you don't want, so if you don't want that, you can just skip over this part. But to create it, we're going to right click, go to user interface, and create a widget blueprint. And I'm just going to name this one, camera flash widget, like so opening it up straight away. In here I'm simply just going to add in an image set to the position X and Y to be 0, the size X to be 1920 and size Y to be 1080 and then anchoring it to the whole screen. And I'm going to leave the image as blank so it's just a white screen like this because the flash is going to be white I just want it like that. Next what I'm going to do is make sure I have the image selected again and I'm going to create an animation for this. So that is going to be in the bottom left. Now if you don't have the animations tab or the timeline tab, go up to the top, hit window, and then hit animations and timeline to make sure they have a check mark next to them like so. And this should be in the bottom left like this. Once you've got that, I'm going to hit the animation button here, then I'm going to name this one fade or flash or anything like that, because to make this look nice I'm going to fade it in and fade it out, but just very quickly so it looks like a flash. With the animation selected and the image selected, I'm going to hit the plus track in the timeline, then hit image 109 or whatever your image is named. Then on that I'm going to hit the plus track again, then I'm going to add one for the render opacity because I'm fading it in and out. Then what I'm going to do is drag over this grey box here to make it longer and I'm going to drag it out two notches like that so it goes 0 0.05, 0 0.1. So my animation is going to be 0.1 seconds because just for a camera flash it's very very quick so I want this to be very quick as well. So at the start of the timeline, what we've got is a render opacity of 0. Then we're going to go over 1 notch to 0.05, set it to 1, and then go all the way over to 0.1, set it to 0. So as you can see, what this is going to do is simply just flash on the screen like so. Now it's very, very quick. It's kind of fade in, fade out immediately like that. But again, just for a camera flash, I think that's going to work great for me. Obviously, customize this to get it working perfectly for you. It doesn't even need to be a flash if you don't want. Like It doesn't need to fade in and out. It can be a different color, it can be a different image, it can be longer, shorter, anything that you want. But once you've set that up, we're going to go over to the graph up in the top right, delete event pre-construct and event tick, and just use event construct. Because when we create this widget, we want to play this animation. So I'm going to drag in the fade animation there, get fade, and out of this I'm going to simply just play animation like so, connecting that up like so. We don't need to change anything else on this. But after it, we're going to hold down D and left click to get a delay, setting the duration to how long our animation is, which for me is 0.1 seconds, but for you, set this to whatever it is for you. And completed is simply going to be a remove from parent. So when we create the widget, we're going to play the animation, and as soon as the animation is finished, we're going to take the widget off screen again. So we can compile and save, and that should be the animation set up for us now. So whenever we create the widget, it's going to play this animation of fading on and off the screen, this quick flash like so. so. Again, compile, save, and close that, and now we're going to set up actually taking the screenshot. And so for me, I'm going to be doing this in my character blueprint. So that's going to be content, third person BP, blueprints, and third person character. But you can do this in whatever blueprint you want. And once you're here, just go to the event graph and find some empty space. Then I'm going to right click and get a keyboard event which I want. So whichever button you want to fire this off, which for me is going to be F12. And you can set up an action mapping as well if you'd like, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. Again, set up the key which you want. And so out of F12, or whatever you have, so pressed, 
we're going to play sound 2D, which is going to be our sound effect. So again, you don't have to have that if you don't want. And for that, I'm going to have camera shutter, I believe it was called. Let me have a look. It was called camera. So what I'm going to do is just select it there, go back in, and if I press this arrow here, it's going to put it straight in like so. After I've played the sound, I want to also play the animation. So I'm going to create widget, which as you know, is going to then also do that animation because it does it on event construct and this is constructing it. The class is going to be our camera flash widget and the return value is going to simply be add to viewport. So we are putting it on screen. And what I'm going to do is get a delay. So hold down D left click to get a delay. The duration of this is going to be how long my animation is, which again for me is 0.1 seconds. And the reason I'm doing that is because when it actually takes a screenshot, it kind of freezes the game for a split second while it does it. So therefore this animation won't really work properly. So I'm just going to do it after the animation has taken place. And because it's such a small fraction of time, the player won't really notice. And so after the completed is when we're going to actually take the screenshot. So if you don't want the sound effects or animation, just do this part here straight out of pressed. So completed, I'm going to execute console command like so. And the command is simply going to be high res shot two. Spelling it exactly like I have here, high res shot, all one word with a capital H, R and S, space two. That being the number two. And I will leave a link in the description down below to the Unreal docs for all the different settings of the high res shots because different numbers will do different things. But for the bog standard one, which you'd want, high res shot two should work fine. And we compile and save that and this should be it now done for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to press a button, play a sound effect, play an animation we've just made, and then take a screenshot. So let's hit play to test this out. If I'm walking around like this and I press F12, we got a sound effect, we got a flash, and then we got the screenshot taken like so. If I do another one, it should work perfectly like that. As you see, we have the sound effect, the animation, and the screenshot. And if we close this, let's actually find where this screenshot is. So as you can see, this is where it is for me. It is in your project folder, saved screenshots. So this is what my project folder is called. It is just called screenshots. Then you go to saved, and then you go to screenshots, windows, and then this is where they all are. So this is the first one I took in the overview. And then if we go to the right, this is the first one I took after creating it again. And this is the one we just took now when we're jumping. As you saw, it's high res, so it's not blurry. It's not, it doesn't look bad at all. It looks great because it is a high resolution screenshot. So much better than what your PC would normally take by itself. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set it up so we can play a sound effect and an animation while taking a screenshot in game. And the screenshot is gonna be a high resolution, not blurry, not anything bad. It's going to look great. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.